Thanks for tuning in. This is Britt with Chalk Mountain. I am still working on the vanity that comes with this antique mirror. I actually just finished prepping it with our all natural furniture wood prep cleaner. And I'm going to be painting it in number 11 with our small brush. As you could tell, that's my rag on how dirty the piece was prior to me um, starting the prepping process. And that's one thing you always want to do um, is prep your pieces prior to completing your project as it will make the uh, paint adhere a lot better rather than going and applying onto a glossy or finished surface uh, chalk paint needs something to adhere to um, so let's begin I'm going to be once again using number 11 which is deep water gray and our originally designed small brush all right okay so we're gonna get started we're always going to shake our paint prior to use as well. We want to make sure we remove all the existing loose bristles that do come with a boar hair bristle brush um, as they're not synthetic and it's being all natural, which we strive to be. Um, we always recommend that you go through your bristles with your fingertips to pull out any bristles before starting. You may also wash your brush with some warm water and some Dawn soap prior to painting. Now we always advise that customers pour the paint into a remo uh, reusable container just because um, the fact that the lid, the paint will dry in the lid and around the edges if you don't wipe it. Um, with my case, I'm still completing the project, so it doesn't bother me. So this is what deep water gray looks like. It's very, it's a light gray, um, bluish tone. Um, one of my favorite colors to paint with besides our white. Um, white does sell a lot um, in our area, but each and er every area is different. Um, now, I, since I'm using a small brush, I am not going to tape my mirrors because I have a technique where I can use a razor blade to remove any of the excess paint. So I'm starting on the inside of the mirror because the back will have to be uh, painted as well. So this is just one coat with deep water gray, number 11. And as you can see, it goes on so smooth. There is no brush strokes from what I am seeing, which is always a plus. So like I said, I'm not worried if I get paint on my mirror because like I said, I will just go and remove it. Now, what's nice is with our paint, you can get a clean cloth with some water on it or the furniture cleaner, which will help remove if you get anything onto the fixtures, um, unfortunately, I cannot find my painter's tape or else I would tape those. So currently right now, I'm not too worried about it because I'll go over it really quick and wipe it. But I think I'm going to keep the original brass um, just due to me keeping the original hardware on the vanity. So I'm going to get my furniture cleaner. 
and add just a little bit onto my uh, terry cloth and just work it away. And that's one thing that's nice about chalk paint. It, it is washable if you're able to get to it prior to it drying. And a lot of this I can touch up and go back with a smaller brush, which I am not worried about. So what's nice about the small paintbrush is that it, you can get into those nicks and cr uh, crannies um, as well as detailed sections like this. Um, it's easier to go along the edges rather than being with a larger brush. And you always want to go with the grain of your piece. Unless your desired look um, you're going for is with more of a texture. And sometimes it's nice, um, depending on the look you're trying to achieve, one coat should just do it. I have not dipped my brush in yet. I am still working the paint that is inside of the bristles. And that's one thing that's great about boar hair bristle brushes is they actually hold a great amount of paint. Um, rather than synthetic brushes, which you constantly have to go back and forth. So right there, I had a lot of paint on my brush, so I'm just dabbing some of it away. And like I said, once I get more in detail with the piece, uh, once I get more towards the second coat, I will go more in depth with covering um, more of the edges and touch-ups along the piece. So like for this example right here, I will touch that up with my smaller brush, but it is nice that I added some of the deep water because it actually highlights the brass, but we will make sure that you want to make sure that it doesn't seal the paint into the grooves or else it will not open. So you want to make sure you get to that as quick as possible. Or if you're um, someone like my husband, when he paints, he would actually disassemble the entire piece. And sometimes I just like taking from the lid because it's right there, easy access. It doesn't house as much paint as the actual jar itself does. And there's certain areas I know that are going to be covered up, but I do like to fully sometimes cover the piece, and that's um, especially if I'm staging in um, my mother-in-law's shop, which a lot of the times I do her paintings of her um, pieces she finds. Um, I especially do the backs of pieces if they're being staged so that the entire piece will be painted like this one front back 
just to give that more of an appeal, especially if someone wants to place it in an area where the, the whole piece is viewable. So we're going to get more furniture cleaner. And we're going to come over. Bear with me. I'm in my painting clothes. See, this one started to dry a little, so it started to do appealing, which I did not want. And I do have a video on removing paint from glass um, with the razor blade. Um, it's pretty simple. Um, all you have to do is get some Windex, spray pretty much like you're going to be cleaning your mirror, and grab your razor blade and go against the paint or towards the paint I would say and it'll just peel back especially with having that degreaser from the Windex nice is since this piece is so old um there's actually some crackling effect coming on which i love because it's always nice not having to create a crackle effect when when it's being an antique piece sometimes the wood will naturally crackle which that's one step less that i would have to do All right, now that I have the first coat on, I am going to let it sit about 30 minutes, depending on your weather. Um, sometimes it'll dry quicker, especially if you are painting outside. Um, but right now, since it's nighttime um, and it is a little chilly here, I will be giving it the full 30 minutes to dry before the second coat. We'll see you when I start that process. Thanks for tuning in.